If you followed the advice in the last video, you should have a great value proposition and really be promoting the idealized lifestyle that you hope to offer people through your services or products. This alone should be enough to give your account some real momentum. Also important is to make sure that your photos and videos are of a high standard. And this is something we'll look a lot more at in a subsequent video, but for now, suffice to say that people won't follow a channel if it is low quality. But that's not all you need to do. You can have the best account in the world, but if you don't know how to promote it, people aren't going to see your pictures or your Instagram stories. In this video, we'll be looking at what you can do to solve that problem and to make sure that people discover your channel and sign up in their droves. Now, the first thing you need to do to ensure your Instagram account grows quickly is to post content consistently. Now, that means you need to be consistent in terms of the frequency of your posting and in terms of the nature of the posting. People need to learn what they can expect from your account so that they can make the decision whether or not to follow you. If you created the personal brand, as we mentioned in the last video, then it's okay to be a little bit looser in terms of what you post. But if you have a fitness brand and all you ever post are pictures of your dogs, then you're going to lose followers. Likewise, if you have a productivity brand and you fill it with images of yourself traveling, you'll lose fans. So be consistent and make sure that you're posting relevant content at least daily, ideally a lot more than that. You'll also need to do whatever else you can to help people know what your brand is all about. One of your most powerful tools in this respect will be your logo and your brand name. If you have an account all about fitness, you'll need a logo and a name that will communicate this as soon as people see it. You want your first time viewers to instantly know what you're all about so they can decide there and then that they want to follow you and that your content is for them. But how do you get people to see your content in the first place at all? Well, there are a few different methods you can use. And the first is to interact with others. Now, remember that Instagram is a social media platform. And what is social media? Well, it's a communication tool. So if you aren't using Instagram for communication, then you aren't using it in the way that it's designed and you aren't making the most of it. One very easy way to help more people find your content is to look for the content that others are sharing and then comment on it or like it. We've already seen that people find this flattering and if you think about your own reaction to that, chances are you would want to check it out just to see who it was who liked you. So search for different tags and see what other people are contributing. If you post about fitness a lot, then how about searching for the tag fitness, seeing what other people have contributed and then leaving some comments about those posts. They'll check you out to see what you're all about and if they find a ton of amazing photos that appeal to them, chances are they'll follow you. Likewise, spend some time liking other photos and just generally using the platform. One thing you mustn't do, well, post on someone else's image and say, please check out my profile. All this does is make you look desperate and amateurish, and it's invasive because you're taking someone's photo and just using it as an excuse to promote your own nonsense. Always comment on the content of the picture and leave relevant feedback so that it's clear you're actually engaging and not just a bot posting random compliments. Another thing not to do is to tag people in your photos who aren't really in them. This is immensely frustrating and, once again, just cheap. It'll undermine the quality of your brand. The other way to bring more new people to your Instagram account is to integrate it with your other channels and accounts. One of the most effective ways to do this is through your own website or blog. If you have a WordPress site, then you can use a variety of powerful tools to integrate your Instagram account into it. One thing I've done, for example, is to add a feed from my Instagram into the right-hand column of my website. That way, someone who lands on my website will be able to see the kind of thing I post on Instagram and can decide to follow me there and then. 
It also has the added advantage of keeping my website up to date with a constant stream of new content. Even when I haven't been on my website for a while, it will look alive with new content and new updates and it makes my visitors feel like they know me just that little bit better, thereby establishing trust. I also have buttons on my homepage to show people where they can follow me on Instagram and my other social media. Again, that means if they enjoy the content on my site, they know how to follow me on Instagram. What's more, though, is that I regularly just ask my fans to follow me. At the ends of posts and at the end of YouTube videos, I'll say, check out my Instagram account for more fitness inspiration, etc. This is a great way to draw attention to it and to make sure that it doesn't get overlooked. Another useful strategy is to use IFTTT and the sharing buttons within Instagram to post your content to your other social media accounts. For example, you can set it up so that any new picture added to your Instagram will automatically be posted to your Twitter account as well as your Facebook page. That way, people who aren't following you on Instagram will still be impressed by your content and they'll get taken to your Instagram account if they click to enlarge the image. Another very powerful tool for growing your following on Instagram is to use tags correctly. Tags work just the same as they do in Twitter. You add them into your comment section beneath any new picture and other users will then be able to search for them in order to see what new content has just been posted on that subject. So if you were to use Instagram's search function right now and look for makeup, you would find countless pictures uploaded by women showing off their makeup. Many of these would link to YouTube accounts and websites filled with makeup tutorials, and if you were in that sort of thing, then you might follow them. The same goes for fitness and productivity. Except it's a mistake to use those tags. Why? Because there are so many people who will search for these tags and who will take new photos. If you tag an image with fitness, it will instantly be drowned by hundreds of thousands of new photos and no one will see it. On the other hand, though, if you tag something with morning run, it might get a few more searches and get seen a few more times before it gets completely buried. Your aim in general, then, is to use tags that are popular, but not so popular as to make it impossible to stand out. And, of course, the way you make a tag is simply to add a hashtag symbol in front of something before you post it. One of the most powerful ways to massively explode your channel on Instagram is to use influencer marketing. This essentially means you're going to contact someone who is already highly popular on Instagram and then try to convince them to promote you in some way. You might find a prominent fitness model and then ask them if they will consider sharing one of your images and linking to your account in their comments. That way, you gain instant access to a huge proportion of the people they have access to. Now, don't go straight for the biggest creators on Instagram with a million followers as they probably won't answer you and you know, they likely get a lot of messages. Instead, look for someone who's just a little bit bigger than you. you know, someone you can stand to gain from, but is still small enough to be flattered that you contacted them. You can also aim for big brands that are running competitions and other promotions themselves. For example, many big channels will repost photos taken by their favourite Instagram contributors, and this way they encourage people to use their tags. You can do the same, and if your photo gets selected, it will give you access to a big audience once again. One thing to never do, though, is to buy followers. Not only will the quality of the followers you buy be very low, meaning they won't be engaged with your brand if they look at your posts at all, but it also will be very likely to backfire as this is against Instagram's policies and you could find your account being suspended. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.